My name is Molly Watkins. I am one of the co-owners of Luxie Creations, um, along with my mother, Catherine Stairs, my niece, Tashina Goodbear, and my other sister, Kaimishi Stairs Camp. I came up with that 30 odd years ago. Luxie because it's the Choctaw word for turtle, and I move like a turtle half the time, uh, pretty slow. And, um, but I came up with it, um, and so I'd used it off and on. And we'd played with it and we'd buy beads. And so then about seven years ago, we decided to go legal. And we started setting up at powwows and at Plaza District when it came back to life at art shows. And our goal was for a store. And that's what we've always wanted to do. So we are also um, an outlet for local beaters and artists that don't have a way to sell their things. We take things on consignment and um, give them an outlet for their work. And we just want to be here for the community. And that's for the Native community, that's where we want to be. And we think we're in a great spot. Um, it depends on the powwow. If, say, we're setting up at a one day versus a three day. Um, one day powwow will take a little bit less than what we would. We would take more of our popular items. So a lot more of our a small sampling of our beads, but in the popular sizes. So typically, you know, 11s, 12s, some 13s, some 9s. Just try and get an idea of what's been selling more recently. Some of our supplies, if we're setting up at say a three day powwow, we'll take a significantly larger portion of our inventory with us. We'll take a larger selection of beads. We'll take a larger selection of supplies. That way we can, if we sell out of something, we can restock it or um, we can pro just provide more of a selection. It's sporadic. I mean, uh, our, of course, our base is beaters, you know, that's, and that's the, ma the native community. And we get a lot of Cheyenne Arapaho through here. And we get quite a few Choctaws are starting to come in. They're finally finding out we're here, and this is going to help us tremendously. Foot traffic will get people coming through and saying, hey, we didn't know you were here. Oh, great, we've got some place to go down to buy beads. So it's picking up, it's, it's, the store's holding its own, let's put it that way. And, and that's all I can ask for, that's all I want. We get some um, non-natives to come through and they'll look at things and, and they'll buy some of the more uh, blankets and you know, finished products. But we'll get, and then we've got your crafty people from the surrounding areas like the plaza and um, say on them that like beads and there was a bead shop further uh, north on Western and it closed several years ago so they come in and they buy our biggers like eight millimeters and ten millimeter beads they'll buy the bigger ones to do jewelry with so we got we're getting a lot more people come through uh, some of it comes from us ourselves uh, she and my sister typically do most of the finished products we have artists that will bring stuff in on consignment we um, we are also a local distributor of Pendleton, so we have Pendleton goods that we can uh, order and sell through the store. Whatever we can produce or whatever, any if someone wants to come in and say, hey, I have this piece, I have these pieces, could I put them in your store and see if they'll sell? I don't have an outlet. So it's just, we work with people. You will have somebody come in, walk in one day and say, hey, can you buy these? Or if we're not at a point where we can, we can buy or trade, we'll say, can't buy it, but if you want to put it in on consignment, we're more than happy to have it here. You set your price, we work with you on that. If it sells, we'll let you know. So it's just kind of a, a various assortment of outlets. Oh, it makes me thrilled. This is something I always wanted. I always wanted a store to sell beads in, always. So when I got retired, I'm like to these kids, I'm like, you know what, we're doing it. And they're so supportive. I mean, they were all like, Great mom, that's a fantastic idea. Let's go for it. No, we just want to be here for the for the for our people. We want to be here. And we want to make it work as a place where native people can come in the city and buy a hank of beads or so that's what we do, because we make regalia. Tashina and I both make a lot of ribbon skirts and things that with the ribbon, so we just want to be something that the and if there's something anybody wants, like a specific color. 
uh, we'll try to get it. And if they want in mass quantities, say they want a kilo of beads, we'll work with them on ordering a kilo of beads specifically for them. So it's they don't have to buy it by the hank. So, I mean, we, we will reach out and make an effort to work with anybody that comes in and is looking for something very specific.